Hey everyone, this is Jeff here again uh, with a follow-up to my review on the Fayotech G5 handheld gimbal. Uh, once again, uh, the Fayotech it's a G5, it's a three-axis handheld gimbal. Uh, I did a review on that, so a lot of people have watched that. This is a follow-up to it, just to uh, show you how well uh, I think this thing uh, operates and, uh, and I'm really impressed with it and pleased with the footage that I was able to get. Um, if you've watched my review video, you'll know that I said I was getting ready to head to Durango uh, for vacation, and I took the gimbal with me and shot a lot of footage, and I am just really, really impressed with how well the footage turned out. Um, I'm just going to share a little bit of it with you so you, people can look at it and really see how stable the footage is. Uh, if you're on the, on the fence about purchasing this particular gimbal, you'll be able to see a little bit more extensive footage. I'm not going to bore you to death with a lot of home video stuff, but I will show you walking over some rough terrain in uh, Mesa Verde National Park, as well as riding the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railway. And part of what I'll show you in the uh, uh, train footage is I put the gimbal on the extension pole with the GoPro Hero 5 Black and extended it out, raised it up over the outside car so I'm shooting over the roof straight forward in the direction of the front of the train and you will see the car shaking like this in the video I am personally actually standing in that car shaking back and forth and you'll see that just holding my arm out and extending it up above with the gimbal uh, the GoPro camera and the extension pole how stable that footage remains because you'll see the car going like this the railway railroad car and I'm actually standing in that car shaking back and forth but the shot remains stable so I am like thoroughly impressed with this thing and I would recommend it to anybody to buy if you're on the fence or you're looking for a good handheld gimbal never had any issues with battery life um, or anything like that so yeah I am once again I'm thoroughly impressed with this thing and so if you're looking for one and you're in the market for one I highly recommend this one um, so but stay tuned uh, in just a second, and we'll show you some of the footage. I uh, appreciate you checking this video out. Also, if you haven't seen my full review on this, feel free to take a look at it. I'll put a link to it uh, in the video at the end. Also, if you get something out of this, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.